say, Aussie, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Good boy. Right, so, Aussie has been using, oh, let me get out of the way. Aussie has been using these today. Neo Color Water Soluble Crayons. Now, if you're lucky enough to have some water soluble crayons, here is a super fun thing you can do with the pencil shavings. So, Oz, grab me that tray over there with the shavings and be careful not to spill any of them, can you please? Okay, slide it over here, slide it over. So, here, this is what we collected Ozzy's pencil sharpenings on. Now, they're solid crayons and they are water soluble. So all of these little pencil sharpenings are just solid, water-soluble crayon. There is no wood on these crayons at all. Careful, you don't want to get them stuck to your fingers. So we can use all of these. So we're going to keep them to one side. And Ozzy is going to be creating a really fun and really easy picture just using up these pencil sharpenings. So Ozzy, can you please make your paper really wet with that brush? Do you think you can do that? Yes. Okay. Doesn't matter if I get some water on it or the... Not at all. So Ozzy is just carving his paper with plenty of water here. The paper's sliding around a little bit, so try and hold your paper still with your other hand. Now, it doesn't matter if you cover every little area. Some of it can stay dry, but the more you cover, the more your little paint chip shavings, whatever you call them, will spread. Now, I was thinking if there was a way that you could do this if you didn't have watercolour um, crayons like we do. You could use the shavings of watercolour pencils, but probably you would just have to flick off the wooden parts afterwards because obviously the wooden parts wouldn't melt and create any um, pretty patterns. But you could just flick them off once they were dry, I guess. Another thing you could do is if you have a paint palette where you've allowed some paint to dry on that paint palette, you could do the same thing, wet your paper and just flick off parts of those dried paints and they would melt into the water in the same way. So Ozzy is just sprinkling over those little crayon shavings now and I'm adding a little bit of extra water over the top where it's a bit too dry. Um, these don't blend too much but they did blend a, perhaps a little too much with the black so we did think that we may leave out black next time. I would also be cautious if you have grey or brown because those can really dirty up other colours but you'll see the end result in a minute and you'll see what you think but um, yeah I think we might avoid putting quite so much black next time but we had a fun time doing this all the same we just saw this whole tray of these pencil shavings and we thought what a waste to chuck them all away so I'm adding quite a lot of water with a pipette because some areas they just really weren't melting well enough at all where there was big chunks now if you add a lot of water and it's really too much you can always just soak up a bit with a kitchen roll but we just left most of it on there and left it to dry overnight and it kind of gave a pretty cool effect it was like a piece of um cool sort of modern art it reminded me a little bit of jackson pollock with his kind of flicky splattery paintings as you can see, there wasn't really any skill involved with this. We're just dumping paint shavings on a wet piece of paper. But I think that the end result was pretty cool. And aside from getting slightly messy fingers, Ozzy quite liked doing it. We tried to take off a little bit of the extra water at the end there, but I think it actually made it worse. I probably would have, should have just left it as it was. So this is the end result. They actually came out pretty vibrant when they dried. I think they look awesome. And they have a nice texture to them as well, so that's really cool. If you like this video, please do check out my other videos, like this Toucan Quick Draw. And you can even head on over to carlyart.org where you'll find heaps of other projects.